After any unforced error, goalkeepers can receive a barrage of abuse on social media. Whether you're a man or a woman between the sticks, you're likely to receive negative comments at some point in your career. But if you are a high-profile woman who plays in goal, it can, and has often been, particularly bad. For a long time, goalkeeping errors have been used to undermine the women's game and the athletes who play it. But at Euro 2022, not many people are talking about the goalkeepers. And that's largely because they've been very good. We are seeing the best level of goalkeeping that we ever have, former England keeper Rachel Brown Finnis told The Athletic. There have been times in previous tournaments where a goalkeeper has been a weak point and teams will recognise that and use it to their advantage. But there hasn't been a goalkeeper in this tournament so far that's looked vulnerable or been that weak point. Brown Finnis picks up the German keeper, Merle Fromms. She's come in with a handful of caps, and some of the saves she made against Spain were outstanding, the height of athleticism. One from save in particular left everyone at the Brentford Community Stadium astonished. Germany were 2-0 up with 20 minutes to go in the group stage as Spain looked for a way back into the game. A ball over the top from Barcelona midfielder Patricia Guijarro and a perfectly timed run by Mariona Caldente broke through the German back line only for Fromms, who plays for Wolfsburg, to throw out a glove and deflect a powerfully struck shot over the crossbar. There was another brilliant moment earlier that day, during the meeting between Denmark and Finland in Milton Keynes. Denmark were holding on for a 1-0 win when, in stoppage time, Finland's substitute, Jenny Danielson, rifled a shot towards the top right corner that looked a certain equaliser. But Lena Christensen leapt towards it, tipping the ball around the post with startling agility. It was another remarkable save to add to an already bulging playlist of top saves in this European Championship. Finland excited the competition in the group stage, but their goalkeeper also produced outstanding moments before their departure, and also produced her best against Spain. When Lea Alexandri headed an owner Batier cross down and towards the goal, Tinja Rika Kopala pulled off an outstanding stop as she shuffled across her line to get a hand to it at full stretch. What you want to see in any goalkeeper is them moving their feet quickly, looking agile. Then they can make excellent technical saves, says Brown Finnis, who's covering the tournament as a co-commentator for the BBC. If an error happens, it's because of either a poor technique or poor decision. And we're seeing very few of those. So why the improvement? Early specialist training is a factor, she says, pointing out that England's Mary Earps, Hannah Hampton and Ellie Roebuck have all had goalkeeper coaching since a very young age and have played in England's under-15s and under-17s. They've had regular professional goalkeeping coaches pretty much since they decided they wanted to be goalkeepers. And that's fantastic. That's where we always wanted the game to be. Goalkeepers have been an afterthought in some respects. And when you look at the past championship winning teams in the Women's Super League, the likes of Chelsea and Arsenal, one of their strongest parts of who they are is because of their last line of defence, their goalkeepers people are starting to recognise and realise that goalkeepers win titles. And with that, there's been a bigger focus on coaching keepers, improving them and getting the best out of them. Earps' performances in particular impressed Brown Finnis. Even though the Manchester United goalkeeper had few saves to make during the 8-0 dismantling of Norway in Brighton on Monday, she had to stay switched on throughout as the goals flowed in at the other end of the pitch. The mindset of a top-level goalkeeper is something that a lot of people probably haven't considered. It's very different to that of the outfielders, Brown Finnis said. Being the last line of defence is one aspect. Another is we have to stay concentrated all game, every game, whether you've been peppered with shots or whether you've got nothing to do. That's a really strong performance quality in a goalkeeper. You are born with some of those qualities, but concentration is one of the things that you work on relentlessly. But another factor in the overall performance of goalkeepers at this tournament, and perhaps a legacy of that earlier, more specialised training, has been the quality of the goalkeeper's footwork and their ability to cover their goals and their penalty boxes and reach shots which might have previously been out of reach. You can't get away from the fact that the average women's goalkeeper size is probably about 5 foot 9 inches, which is very different to men's goalkeeping. And yet the size of the goal is the same. We're trained in a different way because of that, the former Liverpool, Everton and Arsenal keeper explains. What you have to do is work your feet quicker, to cover the full goal. It's not about relying on size, you work relentlessly on agility, on power, so that you can cover the goal and you just see those saves being made in a slightly different way. And anybody who's watched this tournament will have noticed that. 
Ultimately, those saves are being made. Those crosses are being collected, goalkeepers are dominating their areas. Yes, the women's game has always had goalkeepers capable of making excellent saves, but the regularity seems to have greatly increased. The level of analysis has also intensified, and that's been another contributing factor. It's important having the expertise around you to be able to analyse your game. How did you make that save? Looking at your movement, where your body weight was centred. Being in exactly the right place at exactly the right time to push off, Brown Finnis says. What we're seeing is the result of the level of detail coaches and players are getting into. The finer details are the things you want to get absolutely spot on. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including David Ornstein, Daniel Taylor, Ollie Kay, Amy Lawrence and Rafa Honigstein. There are journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.